All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahushah, by Hashem Rakak I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And this is Shir Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. Okay? I want to go on this um, topic of the spiritual aspect of the word sleep. Okay? And how it applies to the scriptures. Um, now, the word sleep, okay, is a, uh, you have um, homophones and you have homo homographs, okay? The word sleep is, uh, it says, a homograph is each of two or more words spelled the same but not necessarily pronounced the same and having different meanings and origins okay so the word sleep in this sense is a is a fit it's a figurative um uh saying okay which um basically is a metaphor or uh Something that you compare it, compare uh, death to, okay? Because death is just um, uh, comparable to sleep, basically, okay? According to the scriptures and um, according to um, life. Now, the word sleep, one of the reasons why I said that it has uh, different meanings with when you go into the word homograph, um, the word sleep means... Um, Sli sli slaip, okay, from the old English, sleep, sleepiness, uh, inactivity, okay. Then it says, um, down here, figurative use from, um, old English, okay, um, is a repose of death, okay. So, sleep is also figuratively. Um, another word for death it says to put an animal to sleep which means kill painlessly um, is recorded from 1923 a similar imagery is in cemetery okay so um so like I just wanted to see what this word was um, Was that word that says som somnus? Okay, you have uh, one of the things that come come to mind is uh, insomnia. <laughs> okay, it says sleep personified the god of sleep in Roman mythology. Okay, um, son of night and brother of death from the 1590s. Sleep drowsiness, um, sweep to sleep. Okay. Now, I'm gonna, since I just said that, okay, um, <laughs> I'm going to get this, spiritual aspect of the word sleep, man, okay, insomnia, chronic inability to sleep, okay, want of sleep, sleeplessness, okay, sleeplessness, sweep, which means to sleep, Somni is sleep, okay, somnus, which somnus is, like, once again, it's a Roman god, okay, and the elect, okay, they, they have a, they have insomnia, okay, spiritual insomnia, okay, they can't sleep, because it's not, it's not meant for them to sleep, okay, um, let me get that, Romans 13 and 11, and that knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than we believed. Okay, wake out, out of sleep because you got a lot of people out here that are spiritually uh, sleeping. They're spiritually dead. Okay. So, it's time for, for the elect to wake up out of that sleep. Okay. Because uh, this destruction... Is, is about to come, okay, and and our people, the elect, are going to be um, delivered, okay, 
So, um, continuing on, it says, um, then it also says, uh, to be able to do something in, in one sleep, which means to do easily. And then down here you have, uh, the verb sleep. Okay. Um, which one of the, the other words, okay, is when people say, I want to sleep with, okay, which means do, do the sex act with, okay. Yeah, I want to sleep with you. That's, that's, you basically, you want to have sex with that person, okay. So, I'm going to continue on with the lesson, okay, and just go through the scriptures of how uh, sleep is uh, the, the, the spiritual aspect of it, okay, because a lot of people, they don't understand um, death, okay, or, or when certain people say that they're asleep, okay, like that, that it's all spiritual, okay. It says Job 14 and 7. For there is hope of a tree, if it be cut down, that it will sprout again, and that the tender branch thereof will not cease. Okay? So when a tree get cut down, right, people expect that that, that tree will, will come back again. Okay? It says, Though the root thereof wax old in the earth, and the stock thereof die in the ground, Yet, though the scent of water, I mean, through the scent of water, it will bud and bring forth bowls like a plant. But man dies and wastes away. Yeah, man gives up the ghost, and where is he? So when a man dies and wastes away, right, he gives up the ghost, it says, where is he? And I'm going to get into that. Okay? Where is, that's the question, where is he? Okay? As the waters fell, fell from the sea, and the flood decays and dries up, so man lies down and rises not, till the heavens be no more, and they shall not awake, nor be raised out of their sleep. So, in this uh, concept of the word sleep, okay, it's talking about a man that's dying, but when you read up, okay, it's talking about when a man dies and he comes back, okay, it's co comparable to that because the scripture says there's nothing new under the sun, okay? So, it says, um, O that thou wouldest hide me in the grave, that thou wouldest keep me secret until thy wrath be passed, that thou wouldest appoint me a set time and remember me. Okay, so that also ties into the scripture that this is um the the time to wake up. Okay, okay, because the Lord is about to destroy America. He's about to you know come back and set order to this 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 uh the the world. Okay, and um what Job here is saying that 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 he would wish that he would be able to, to hide in the grave from the destruction that's about to come okay that that the lord would be able to come back and, and and uh deliver him when that when that time comes it says if a man die shall he live again all the days of my appointed time will i wait till my change come okay and that, that that's a question okay if a man die shall he live again and that's a yes, okay? Because it's sleep, okay? And notice it says, till my change come, okay? So, um, continuing on, um, this is uh, Psalms 13 and 2. How long shall I take counsel in my soul, having sorrow in my, my heart daily? How long shall my enemy be exalted over me? Consider and hear me, O Lord, my God, my power. O Yahweh, my power. Lighten my eyes, lest I sleep the sleep of death. Okay? Lest I sleep the sleep of death. Okay? So, when you're going to it, okay? 
is Yashun, okay, in the Hebrew, is, and that means to, to sleep, be asleep, to remain a long time, be stored up, okay? Continuing on. Oh, right here. It says, by implication, sleep figuratively to die. Also to grow old, stale, and invertebrate, okay? Lest I sleep the sleep of death. Lest I die, okay? My, my bot, okay, that's the this word, okay, which means death, dying, death personified, realm of the dead, death by violent, state of death, place of death, okay. So, in this aspect, it's talking about dying because sleep is nothing but um, death, according to the scriptures. Death is, is nothing but sleep. Okay, it says, lest my enemy say I have prevailed against them, and those that trouble me rejoice when I when I am moved. Okay. So continuing on. Um I'm gonna get this one. First Thessalonians four and fourteen. For if we believe that Yahweh died and rose again. Even so, them also which sleep in Yahweh will Yahweh bring with him. Okay, so when you're going to this, it's talking about death. Even them which also sleep in Yahweh, okay, the ones that was doing his work, and they, they passed along, okay? Like some of our elders' elders, okay? The Lord, the Lord will bring them along, okay? Cause um, they're part of the elect now. Um, I'm gonna get this for for this we say unto you by the word of the Lord that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. Okay, cause they pass along. They they're just sleep. They're not they're not um gonna come back. But they're they're dead right now. But the scriptures talk about their sleep. Okay, for the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and with the trump of, of Yahweh, and the dead in Yahweh's side shall rise first. Okay, the ones that are asleep, that want, the ones that, that, that are sleeping in Yahweh's side. Okay, they're going to be the ones who rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever, ever be with the Lord. Okay, we which are alive and remain. Okay, and being alive is being awoke. Okay, because if you if you sleep, you're not awoke. Okay, you're you're not living. You have people out here, okay, that are uh, spiritually dead. Or spiritually sleep. That's why the scriptures talk about it's time to wake up out of sleep. So this is uh Isaiah 29 and uh 10. For the Lord hath poured out his spirit upon you. I mean put pour out upon you the spirit of deep sleep, and have closed your eyes, the prophets and the rulers and the seers have recovered. And the vision of all is become unto you as the words of a book that is sealed, which men deliver to one that is learnt, saying, Read this, I pray thee. And he saith, I cannot, for it is sealed. And this word, sleep, best believe, is one of the words that are sealed to people. Just getting the whole figurative language, okay, that's written in the scriptures, because there's a lot of it, okay? You got to be able to break these uh, things down. So, I'm going to get this scripture to back up uh, the 1 Thessalonians uh, 4. Okay, because it says, um, And the dead in, in Yahweh Sasa rise first, then we which are alive and remain. Right? So, this is uh, 1 Corinthians 15 and uh, 51. Um, 50. 
Now this I say, brethren, the, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of Yahweh by Shemuel Shah. Neither doth corruption inherit incorruption. Behold, I shew you a mystery. And, and it's a mystery that not everybody is meant to get. It's a secret. Okay? It says, we shall not all sleep, or we shall not all die. You're going to have uh, people that are going to be uh, translated as they're in the air. Okay? It says, but we shall all be changed. Because we're going to get them new bodies. In a moment in the twinkling of an eye at the last trump. For the trumpet shall sound. And the dead shall be raised incorruptible. And we shall all we shall be changed. Okay. So the dead shall be raised. The ones that are asleep. They're going to be raised. Okay. And they're going to have. A, they're going to be changed also. Because you got to understand that those bodies that they, that they died. And. Okay, they they're they're dead. They're not coming back. But but when you see them again, okay, or when when you see them, they're gonna have new bodies, and their spirit is going gonna go right back into that body. Okay. It says, for this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. Okay. So um. Let me get this. Uh, Matthew 16 and 28. Verily I say unto you, there be some standing here which shall not taste of death till they see the Son of Man coming in his kingdom. Okay, taste of death, they shall not sleep. Okay. Luke 18 and 49. While he yet spake, there comes one from the ruler of the synagogue's house saying to him, your daughter is dead, trouble not the master. But when Yahweh heard it, he answered them, saying, Fear not, believe only, and she shall be made whole, which is healthy. And when he came into the house, he suffered no man to go in, save Peter and James and John and the father and the mother of the maiden. And all wept and bewailed her. And he, but he said, Weep not, she is not dead, but sleeps. Okay, that body didn't start decaying. It probably was decaying. Okay, I believe uh, Lazarus' uh, body was was decaying. Okay, it says, uh, and they laughed him to scorn, knowing that she was dead. And he put them all out and took her by the hand and said, and, and called, saying, "Made arise." And it says, and her spirit came again. And she arose straightway, and he commanded to give her meat. And her parents were astonished, but he charged them that they should not, they should tell no man what was done. Okay? So, she was asleep, okay, or dead. But, you know, the Lord put the spirit back on her and, and brought her back. Okay? And Yahweh has that, that power, okay, to put that spirit back into people. Okay, so that's just, you know, the spiritual aspect of uh, the word sleep. Like I said, the elect, they have uh, spiritual insomnia, man. They can't go, they can't be put, put to sleep. Okay, and even if they do get put to sleep, guess what? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is going gonna to wake them back up. So with that, man, uh, I want to say uh, Salawam.